Hello and welcome to another Virtual Learning Tip Tuesday. Renelle McKinney is joining us today and she's got some great information about Pear Deck that you can use in your virtual learning classroom. Hi everyone and I am super excited to show you um, how to create a fun, easy, interactive Pear Deck lesson with your students. What I'm going to be using today is this slide deck I already have. Mind you, Pear Deck can only be used in a Google slide um, deck that you have created. So first you're going to go to add-on, Pear Deck for Google Slides, you'll need to turn that on. Mine is on, so once I click open, this new window on the right pops up. Here is where I have my options for adding um, different types of ways for students to answer a question I'm posing to them. So we have text, choice, number, and they're all very um, easy for students to follow. Once you click an option that you want to put on the slide deck that you are currently on, for this one I went ahead and did multiple choice. So I added the possible multiple choice options for my students. You can add more questions if you like. When it is to your liking, you're going to click update slide. Pear Deck will work on adding that into your slide and you will know it is there when you see the Pear Deck um, option for students. So I went ahead and did a multiple choice question, a written response question, and a number question. When I am ready to present my Pear Deck presentation, I'm going to make sure I have my Pear Deck window open on the right side, and I'm going to click Start Lesson. Once I click Start Lesson, I have two options. There's Student Pace, which is more of an asynchronous um, activity that students can do. Instructor Pace is synchronous, so I'm going to click Instructor, instructor Pace. And once it loads, you are going to direct the students to the website that is joinpd.com. And once they go to that website, they are going to enter the code. Make sure you are sharing your screen because your students will need to see the code so they can enter onto the slide deck. Once students enter onto the slide deck, this red dot will turn green and show how many students are connected. And then you will be able to start your lesson. You cannot start your lesson until you have students logged in. Or you can, um, if students are having a hard time getting to the website and entering the code, you can give them the link to the presentation. Once it starts, your interactive slide deck will um, begin. In that interactive slide deck, you will be able to see students' automatic responses. So Pear Deck is a great resource for a informal way of assessing where your students are. We want to thank Renelle for taking time to join us today. And remember, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, as well as follow us on all of our socials if you want to see more content just like this. We'll see you next week for another Virtual Learning Tip Tuesday.